Okay, so these are the tools you're going to need uh, that I put together for you. There's the hot plate with stir, um, nylon strainer, a couple of Pyrex bowls, a magnetic stirring capsule, and a temperature gauge. You also need um, some paper towels, uh, a pair of tweezers, pretty normal stuff. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to give a brief description of how to do this and try and demonstrate some of it. So, we have 99% isopropyl alcohol. We have a little hot plate. We have alcohol in a little Pyrex bowl, and then we have a second Pyrex bowl uh, that I put alcohol in as well. Uh, this is a cooling alcohol. Um, I'm going to set the heat. I'm going to, I set my uh, temperature to 34 degrees Celsius. You want it somewhere between 34 and 37 degrees. We always err on the side of caution, so it's a little lower. Um, you can see it's not that much, it's not very hot, it's just a little over uh, room temp. Um, so I'm going to pause this while this heats up and then I'll show you the next couple steps, but it's pretty simple. Okay, that took a little bit to get the right temperature, but make a note to where you have to turn the heater on. Um, I have the max temperature set at 37 which is you don't want it any hotter than that and then I have it you can see it's 34 degrees right now like I said it should be between 34 and 37 on the back of this timer there's a cook and timer you want it on the cook part of it to get the temperature readings rather than a timer okay so once you have that done um, I actually don't have rings but so when they come out they have uh, you'll see that it's blue with the white material. The white material is the support that's going to be dissolved. Um, so you would put them in the alcohol as such and then you just want to stir it, not not super fast, just enough to kind of get it turning. Um, and then this process, it really doesn't take long, maybe 10-15 minutes or so. Um, once this cleans off, you want to be real careful taking them out with a pair of tweezers. And then we're going to put them in like a cold alcohol um, and let them just sit in there for another five minutes or so. Um, they should kind of look like, as you've seen them, uh, you know, look like this when they're done. They look real white. Sometimes they look a little more blue. But often there's like a uh, surface crystallization from the alcohol. Uh, that's perfectly normal and it should cast totally fine with that. Um, once these clean, I will pull them back out and just finish it off here. Okay, that didn't even take five minutes or so. So we just take it out, soak it in there, and that's really it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. After they're in here a while, we just let them air dry before we put them in for casting. Obviously, they're delicate. Be careful. Um, I provided the lids for these because the alcohol will evaporate, obviously. Uh, one other thing, it will get depleted as uh, it cleans more and more of the um, support wax gets built up in the alcohol. And you, you'll just notice it won't be working as well. Um, it's a little bit of uh, alcohol you're going to have to dispose of it some way, throw it in a fire, yeah, do whatever you can, but um, it will collect the, the wax material and start to not um, clean as quickly. Like, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.